Hey everybody and welcome. It's uh, Jackie here from stampingjack.com and uh, it's Tuesday which means that normally um, it's time for Facebook Live. So let me just check um, that my setup is all set up um, and that we're coming through. So um, when you arrive just leave me a comment here below so I know you're here. Um, apologies to all my regulars that I didn't quite make it last week. Um, it was another busy busy day. Every day here is pretty busy at the moment um, with work, but last week was particularly bad. But um, things are okay now. I managed to get home on time today. I managed to enjoy the long bank holiday weekend. I managed to actually not do too much work over the weekend. Took some time out to craft. Um, some of you may have seen um, that I uh, received a uh, nice package in the mail on Saturday morning, which was my new goodies from the upcoming catalogue. So that was fun. Uh, there we are. Excellent. Just check in so I can see posts and stuff. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, I've been enjoying playing with that over the weekend. Um, I've also been finishing off the projects for the Honey Bee um, virtual class, which is um, the, the Zoom class is next th Thursday next week, the 4th of June. So the packets are due to be posted out tomorrow. So um, if you haven't and you want to sign up for the packs, there's still a little bit of time if you sign up tonight, just send me a message. Um, or if you just want the online class, you can sign up anytime until um, next Wednesday um, and I'll send you the link. So um, I think you're gonna enjoy the projects. They're kind of fun, kind of quirky. Um, and yeah, I, oh, I like them anyway. <laughs> so I hope you guys do too. So, um, like I said, I've got my um, I've got my goodies from the new catalog. I've been having a little bit of a fiddle about with them, um, but I haven't done any full on finished projects with them yet. I'm saving that for our online launch party, which is not this coming Saturday, but the following Saturday, which is the sixth of June. Um, so do sign, do make sure to sign up for that. Um, all you've got to do is just register your interest in the Facebook event on my Facebook page. So what's going to happen is that um, there'll be, I'll be posting throughout the day various challenges and quizzes. Hi, Amy. Welcome. Um, so there'll be all sorts of stuff posting throughout the day. And then at various points throughout the day, I shall go live um, with some fun projects for you um, to share. Now, I, had, I hadn't planned on going through my pre-order. Hi Susan, I hadn't planned on going through my pre-order tonight because um, I've got some projects lined up for you but depending on how we are later on um, I'll let you guys decide if you want me to show you what I've got um, I'm happy to do so um, but personally I prefer to see the finished projects but it's up to you so if you've got a preference and you'd like me to quickly whiz through what I've got then let me know and we'll do it at the end. Hi Diane, welcome, good to see you. So, uh, what else have I got to tell you before we get started? Um, yes, so the new catalogue, where is it, where is it? I normally, it's normally not far away, here it is. <laughs> so the new catalogue will be going live next Wednesday, which is the 3rd of June, so not long to wait now. The catalogues have gone, I posted them out today. So if you've ordered from me recently or you've requested a catalogue, then it should be on its way to you. Um, as usual, at the beginning of a new catalogue, I have a couple of extra things going. Um, so one is um, I'll be doing my paper share, um, like I normally do, and all the details of that are in the letter that I've sent to you. So basically what it means is that you get a quarter share um, of all the new designer series papers in, in, in the catalogue. So it's a great way to get a bit of everything um, without having to go out and buy every single pack. The other thing that I'm doing um, again this year is my monthly stamp club, um, which worked really well last year. So how that works is that um, you, if you join up in the club, you commit to spending um, at least £30 a month for five months. So there's five of you in the club. Um, and everybody orders that every month. So that means that um, the order for the month is at least £150, which means it qualifies for host codes. Hi, Doreen, how are you? 
So how it works is that you're allocated a month that you're the host. Now, you don't have to host a class or a party or anything. This is all virtual, okay? So all you've got to do is place your order anytime up to the, the 20th of the month. Um, and then we add them all together. And whoever's the host for that month gets all of the extra credits. So they get basically free stuff to spend in the catalogue. And everybody gets a turn. And then as well as that, um, every month I'll send everyone who's in the club um, a free virtual class. So I'll do a video tutorial and a PDF of some cute projects for you. Um, so you just you get that for free as well. But all of those details are going to be in the letter that I send you. And I'll post up links to it all um, afterwards as well. So you can go check out my blog and you can you can sign up and do all those lovely things. But I'll be talking about them some more when, when we have our launch party next week. Um, the other one is um, obviously the next online class that I'm doing is the Honey Bee class. Um, but after that, I haven't really got any other classes planned. I'm working on a color class, but that's going to take a little bit longer. Um, but in the meantime, I'm, what I'd like from you guys, if possible, is let me have your suggestions about what you'd like to see for the next lot of online classes that I do. Um, so I can start working, working on them. Um, I'm working on some stuff, got some ideas for some stuff from the new catalogue um, and some other bits and pieces rolling around in my head. But it's always good to know what, what you guys would like. So, I, you know, I aim to please. So let's get started on our projects, shall we? So first of all, as I said, over the weekend I was working on the Honey Bee class. Um, and I made a project which I thought was really quite cute which is really really simple so i thought i'm going to i've made these and i kind of was going to keep going and then i thought no i'll do one tonight because it's a nice um masking technique so let's grab our bits so we've got our piece of random washi tape so we've got our whisper white card base and we've got our basic black layer I'm doing a lot of this at the moment. I'm going to have to get, I'm getting into a bit of a rut with that. I'm going to have to get out of that. It's getting a bit boring. Um, and then we just have our layer of white. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some scrap paper. Pop it down. We're going to do some masking. So let's do here. Let me smooth these. So here's one I made earlier. <laughs> you can see it's been used. Um, so basically, I've just taken um, a die and just cut out a circle. So what I'm going to do is just line this up on my grid paper. Okay, and just pop a bit there. Okay, and pop a bit there, just with some washi tape. Okay, and then I'm going to take my circle and... I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can kind of see where it lines up because I can see through the paper. Not because I've got great eyesight, but just because of the light. And I'm just going to line it up roughly where I want it to be. And then I'm just going to tape it down. Okay, I'm going to grab a, one of my blending brushes. So this one, so I've done purple, pink and yellow. So I think I'm going to do... Maybe a blue. Hi Lynn, welcome. So let's see, I think we shall do some, if we do some seaside spray and do, 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 what do I want as a slightly darker color? I want a slightly darker blue. Let's try some Pacific Point. Let's grab this. Night of Navy is a little bit too, too dark. So start with our light color. So again, as always, when we're sponging, okay, we get our ink onto the brush. Okay, and then we're just going to dab it off. And we're just going to build this color up really lightly to start with. Okay, so at first it doesn't look like much, but it does build. There you go, you can see it starting to starting to get there. And I've just not, I've just seen that this brush has some purple on it from the last time. But that's okay. We should be able to build up the blue over it. 
I must label up my brushes. So I'm just, I'm going quite lightly. Oh yes, thanks for sharing, Lynn. That's a reminder to, for me. I always forget that. If you guys could share this video, that'd be really, really great. Okay, so here we go. So that's looking quite purpley. I want it to be a bit more blue, so. Let's get a slightly darker blue. Now I'm going to have to be quite careful with this because this is quite a dark blue. Okay. So. Hi Sue, welcome. We've only just got started. We're only on the first card, so you haven't missed much. Okay. Believe it or not, I'm inking up to make a blue circle, but there was purple on my brush, so we've got purple. <laughs> but I'm going to magically turn it into blue. Better. Okay, so that's fine. I don't want it too dark because I'm going to stamp over it. There we go. Okay, so we'll just close these up now. And then I'm going to bring in my black ink. And let's see, we've got Thinking of You, Sweet Friend, and one of these flowers. So one points that way, and one points that way, so we want this one. Okay. So there's our flower. There's our sentiment. So I'm going to ink up my sentiment first. Just pop it there. Okay, and then we're going to take our flower. And the reason I'm leaving the mask in place is because some of this bit is going to get, um, is not going to go into the circle. So it means it doesn't end up on my card. There we go. Okay, that's that. So then we should be able to carefully peel off our mask. There we go, look at that. Excellent. Let's try and make sure our washi tape comes off. That's all right. Okay, then I've got a little bit of a smudge here, so I'm just going to rub that off with my magic rubber. There we go. And then I'm just going to add a little hint of Wink of Stella the flowers like so and then a little rhinestone so again super simple but pretty and also not a not a bee in sight um, so let's bring back our bits so we've got our card base And then we've got our piece of black. So I'm going to so is that a white eraser? No, Kathy. This is my magic eraser. <laughs> this is a sand eraser. You can get these on Amazon. So if you put in a search for Tombow Mono Sand Eraser, you can get them. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, they won't take off a great big splodge, like so if you know, drop your card in your ink pad, which I'm sure all of us have done at some point, um, or drop your ink pad onto your card, but it will take care of a lot of those, just little smudges and bits and pieces. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. Okay, so we're just going to glue that on there. And then glue that on there. There we go, and now we have a cute set of four cards. Look at that. I could keep going, you could keep going and just make them in all sorts of colours. Um, 
So I'm really, I'm really quite pleased with how that blue turned out, given that it started purple. So <laughs> we managed to rescue that one. So let me know which colour is your favourite while I get ready for our next card. Okay, let's see what our what our fans say. Thanks for sharing, Doreen. Thank you. And do you know what I think I'm going to do? I think. I'm going to, anyone who shares the video, I'm going to put you in a draw and then whoever wins the draw can have these cards. I'll send them to you. Okay. Yellow, right, got one vote for yellow. What else have we got? What's next? Let's clean these up. I think my favourite is the purple. It's between the purple and the blue for me, I think. Let's put these back. Ooh, two for the yellow. Pink. <laughs> so no one likes the purple except me. <laughs> I'll just have to be alone on that one. Oh, there you go, Lynn. Thank you. One other vote for the purple. Excellent. Right, so for our next card, um, as I said to you, because the catalogue goes live um, next week, which means all the new stuff is here, it also means that anything that's on the retiring list will be gone. So do I know a number of you have, have taken advantage of that and have gone on and ordered yourself the bits. Another vote for pink. Thanks, Doreen. Cathy loves them all. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for sharing. Um, yes, yeah, so what it means is that lots of stuff is retiring. So, oh, thank you, Amy. One vote for blue. I don't feel so bad now. Um, so, yes, if you haven't gotten what you wanted from the catalogue that's retiring, then you need to get on and do that fairly quickly. So one of the stamp sets that's going away, which I'm really quite sad about, is this Abstract Impressions. I think this is a great set. Um, because these flower images are just so easy to stamp with and to work with. Um, and I'm also going to pair this with this is a new punch that's coming out in the catalogue, which stamps la label strips. So I'm going to show you how to use that one. I love this punch. It's cool. There is a stamp set that goes with it, which is this one, which I love the sentiments on and love these little images. This is really cool. Um, but I'm just going to use this for the sentiment for now. So there's a little bit of a sneak preview for you. So we've got um, a Whisper White card base, a Rococo Rose layer, and then we've got a white layer. And this is going to be just a really super, super, super simple card. So this is going to do another bit of masking. Okay, so I'm going to grab my pieces. All right, so again, I'm going to just line my piece of cardstock like so. Okay, and then I've cut two, just two pieces of regular copier paper. Okay, and I'm going to take these down. Oh, that one's gone. No, I need some new pieces, they're not. Okay, so let's see, I want, I think I want here. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I, my cardstock is lined up with the grid paper horizontally, so now I'm just lining up my paper with the grid paper horizontally so I know that my lines are straight. Okay, stick down this side. And then here, I'm going to make a panel, which is about that, I think, because I want it sort of in the top third of my card. So it's one, two, three, four, five. What are these? Oh, I'm not on my centimeter side. I don't know what each square represents. Was it a quarter of an inch? Yes. So it's two and a half inches. There you go. Alrighty, okay, and then we're going to grab our 
images. So this is two steps. So you've got the, you've got the big image here, and then you've got the layer that goes on top. That so you can see this is a well used stamp set. I've used it lots and lots and lots. So I'm going to do this, okay, and then I'm going to make a thank you card. And then I also want some leaves. So just for the moment going to use a single leaf because that's just easier. Okay. So I'm going to keep this as a fairly monochrome card. Okay, so I'm going to use Rococo Rose um, as my uh, ink and I might see how it goes. I might supplement it with some melon mambo, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's open up my ink pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp. So you've got this is the more solid image and then this is the more detailed image. So I'm going to stamp off my Rococo Rose and then just stamp it in here, okay? So I'm just gonna do three for the moment. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back with my detailed image. Now, these have, again, the re one of the reasons why this is so easy to work with is that they don't line up precisely, so it doesn't really matter how you place the second layer on top of the first, okay? I'm going to do like that. Okay, and then I want to go over this one because it's not quite as nice as I'd like. So I'm just going to stamp it again, fill it in a little. Okay, and then I'm going to take my uh, pear pizzazz green. I'm going to add a few leaves round and about. Okay, and then let's take our, let's see, I also want uh, this small image here. So let's pull this out. And let's see, I think I'm going to stamp this in Rococo Rose. So we're just going to fill this in like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a few more leaves. Where's my green? So when you're doing something like this where you're masking off uh, a straight line, it's good to just kind of fill it in along the line so that when you pull your, pull your piece up, you've got a very clear, clear line, okay? So now we're going to carefully pull up our paper and there we have a beautiful little border, okay? So then I'm going to take my thank you. And so with this punch, okay, so you've got two ends that you can choose from, and then you've got three widths, so there's six options in total. So the widths are one inch, three quarters of an inch, and half an inch, okay? Now normally I work in centimeters, as most of you know, um, but I found that the, the measurements for the centimeters on this are just really faffy, like 1.9 centimeters, silly little stuff like that. So I'm working in inches for this one. So I've got a three quarter inch strip for this and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to stamp the thank you on there in Rococo Rose. Oh, okay. another sign of a well used stamp is that it's lost a bit of its stickiness on the back because <laughs> I've got grit or something on there but so in order to fix that I'll just wash it um, on, in some warm silky water so again just line that up like so 
There we go. And then I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do, I'll do this one, I think. So we we'll just, you can see there's different ridges. So I'm just going to slide it along those ridges till it reaches the back, punch down and we've got our end and same on the other side. There we go. And personally, I think that is too big. So I'm going to trim it. I don't want it quite as long as this. I'm going to trim it down and then I'm going to run it in again. Okay. Oops, there we are, that's better. There we go. And I've gotten a little bit of, see, I've gotten another, I must have ink on my fingers or something, so out comes my magic eraser again. Not going to worry too much about it because I'm actually going to cover this up here like so. Okay, now I'm going to put some Wink of Stella on my flowers. So one, it gives us a bit of sparkle, which is always good. But the other thing it does is it kind of blends these images a little bit, which is also nice. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then we want some rhinestones. I'm going to put some fairly large ones on this one. So we'll pop one there, one there, one there. I'm going to pop my sentiment strip up on dimensionals. Like so. Just place it like that. I'm going to do it like that. Okay. And then we'll carefully remove our washi tape. That's it. Okay. And then uh, here we are. So we bring back in our pieces. So we're just going to glue this piece to the Rococo Rose. So the Rococo Rose is one of our ink colours and it is staying. So this is not one of the ones that's going away. I do like this dusty pink. It's very cool. Alrighty, so we're just going to pop that on there like so. There we go, and then we'll just hold over our card base. And I think I'm going to pop this one up. Just for fun. So again, this particular stamp set is going away. Um, so I would recommend if you haven't already get, got it, I would grab it um, because it's just, as I say, it's just so easy to create fantastic flowers with it. So there we go. Very, very simple, easy, nice bit of masking. So let me just, let me know what you think about that one while I clear my bits away, ready for the next card. So if you were to make this card, what colour would you choose for yours? Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm trying hard to stay organised between cards here. Otherwise, when I finish Facebook Live, it looks... Oh, just looks absolutely insane. Um, there's just stuff everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Okay, and that's not good. Okay, Susan loves it. Thank you. 
But I also love like that, you know, you can get, you only need one colour, really. You don't need lots and lots and lots of colours to create a really nice card. Um, I know the temptation sometimes is to just stick tons of colours on everywhere. And I do struggle sometimes. As you know, Amy, <laughs> if you're still there, I struggle with having more than three colours on my cards at any one time. Love it. And the pink. Yeah, so I do I do, do love that Rococo Rose. And it's gorgeous with them. Um, it's gorgeous when you put it with very vanilla cardstock. It has a real kind of shabby, chic, vintagey look to it. It's really, really lovely. It's gorgeous. Um, and it looks gorgeous with grey as well. Very, very nice. So the next card I'm going to make is a bit of a mishmash. Um, so I'm using the COVID-19... I think it's the Share Sunshine PDF stamp set. So I've been doing bits and pieces of this for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I'm going to make a card, obviously. Black and white, Amy. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, or grey. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Real monochrome. Nice idea. I'm going to have to try that one. Right, so what I'm going to do is... There's a couple of things. So the, I had um, my dress to impress online class, which was the first one I did. So that's passed. Um, so we had the virtual class, I think it was two weeks ago. Now you can still get the online class because obviously I've recorded a video with details of all the projects and the PDF is still there. So if you missed it and you want the class, you can just, you can order that still. But I was playing around with, let me just get it, hang on. So one of the big attractions of the Dress to Impress set is that as part of the dies, okay, you've got the dies to make these cute little bags. So they can be like a tote like that, or you can fold them in and there, it's that shape. So they're really, really sweet. Um, but when you, when you die cut your bits out, um, you die cut two of these. And I was looking at this and I was thinking, I had this left over and I was thinking, this kind of looks like a tunic. And these kind of look like they could be sleeves. So I thought I had it in this colour, which is Coastal Cabana. So I decided to make a surgical overall, for want of a better word. I'm not sure quite what they're called. So what I've done is I've cut out this bit here. Yeah, and then I've cut out the sleeves. And then I've taken each sleeve like that, just laid it behind and then trimmed it. So you can see my, my, my dressmaking is shocking, uh, even in paper. So one sleeve is bigger than the other, but I think it'll do for the moment. And then I've die cut, this is like a little pocket. Uh, where's my, so it's this little pocket on the front here. So I've die cut that. And then from the stamp set, I've cut out this little Red Cross, and that's using one of my scallop circle dies. Okay, so I'm just going to stick some of these together now. So I'm going to pop this on here, like so. And then I'm going to pop the scrubs, that's the word. Thank you, Susan. I knew there was a word, and I knew you ladies would be able to tell me what it was. <laughs> There we go. So I'm going to pop that up there. Okay. And then, so we've got a red card base. Okay. And then we've got our white layer. So the scrubs are going to go on like so. And then I'm going to have a sentiment down below. And I'm going to use the thank you for your sacrifice from here. And I'm going to use one of our new die sets for this. So this is the Tasteful Labels dies. Um, they've got some really lovely, lovely ones. I think, have I got my favourite in this is these two circles. I'm not going to use them on this card because the sentiment won't fit. But they cut out this gorgeous, look at that pattern on the edge. Love it. Beautiful. So now I'm going to have to go through all my stamp sets and find sentiments to fit into, the, into these two circles. I think if I'd had these when I started this card, I would have cut this 
using one of these but anyway so I am going to use this die here to chop this out so this is a stitched just got a stitched edge to it so bear with me one second I'm just going to run this through my big shop And there we go. That's a lovely shape. I do like that. So let's pop that back in there. Um, and then let's bring our card back. So this I'm going to pop up. Now let's just work out how I'm going to arrange this. Let's put that like that. And then we'll put that like so. Okay, so now let's glue it down. I think I need a new glue. There we go. So again, on this um, PDF, the first couple of pages um, goes through and explains or gives suggestions for any particular dies or punches that would suit all of the different sentiments. Um, so that's really handy, but as you see, you know, you can use whatever you've got. Or with something like this, you could just cut it out as a straight, as a rectangle, just chop it down. So there we go. So that is card number three. I'm quite pleased with that. So I think even though I've made scrubs with this, I mean, I, I think you could definitely make um, like a nice pretty little dress or something like that would look really kind of cool. Um, especially for like maybe a baby card or a young girl card, just like a little pinafore dress type thing. So there we go. So that's our third. And now onto our final card. I'm going to use the dies again. And I'm also going to use the set. So this project is using all new stuff. So this is the set that goes with it and I love this set. I particularly like the feather and I love the font and um, I just think it's a really, um, you've got a lot of options here because you know, you've got your flowers and your leaves which are kind of very feminine and then you've got your patterns here and your feather and, and stuff which are quite masculine. Um, and I'm also going to use um, a brand new embossing folder which has come out which I think you guys are going to love. So this is called, I don't remember the name of all this stuff, that's the worst thing about a new, a new catalogue. So this is the Old World Paper Embossing Folder, okay, and it creates this. So you all know that the Subtles Embossing Folder is my favourite, but I think this is may become my new favorite. I absolutely love it. So you can see how deep it is. Um, and you can see, I just got all sorts of ideas in my head with this one. So we've got this, so this is um, Sahara Sand. Um, and then we've got a layer of early espresso onto a card base of Sahara Sand. Okay, we're gonna do our stamping on this scrap using early espresso ink. So we're just going to keep it very monochrome and then we've got this um, gorgeous new ribbon. This is our faux suede trim. So I'm going to use that as well on here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this feather. Okay, and let me think now. I think I might want to stamp off on our feathers. Let's just see. Yeah, I think I'm going to stamp off. Okay, so I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to stamp two of these. In fact, I'm actually going to stamp three just in case. So this is 
sort of loosely formed idea in my mind of how this is going to work out. So we'll just have to wait and see. And I think I'm going to use, uh, you are the best. And then and I like this one because it's a vertical um, greeting, which is they're unusual. So just a little bit more interesting. And then let's see what die I'm going to use on this. So let's stamp it first. There. Uh, don't like that, so I'm going to stamp it on the other side. I squeezed, I pressed a little bit too hard with my ink pad, with my stamp, so let's try that again. That's better. Okay, and then let's see what die shall I use. I think I'm going to use this one. Yes. So let's just quickly trim and take do that in my big shot okay and then these I'm just going to there isn't a die so I'm just going to fussy cut these out but because they're on the same, they're on the same um, color as my background, I don't have to be too careful. Can you see that? Because we've got a little, an uneven edge, I'm just kind of wiggling my scissors, but I'm not being particularly precise. It's just to give it that impression of being uneven. Well, I say I'm wiggling my scissors, I'm wiggling my paper. Okay. Just because I don't want a straight cut along any of this. Now, I've done three because normally when we put stuff on, we do it in odd numbers, in threes. But we'll see how it actually pans out when we start laying stuff down on the card. And I'm not going to bother cutting around that bit. Can't be bothered. No one will ever know it was supposed to be there. There we go. Okay. We want one like so. Now let's cut our second one. So you can see it's a shame that there isn't that one of the dies doesn't cut this out, but it's not that difficult an image to to fussy cut. It's fairly straightforward. So again, I'm just going to skip this little bit that sticks out because it's just not worth. Yes, I think we're probably maybe two. Okay, let's just grab a length of ribbon because that's going to be going across it. I have to be careful because I don't want it to look like this bloody thing has wings. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Excellent scissor action. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we're going to need three because otherwise it just looks like I'm putting really poor wings on it, which is not the effect I'm going for. So let's do the third one. You can admire my scissor action again, Diane. <laughs> now, if I was being really clever, what I would do is I would use my Stamparatus to do reverse stamping so that my um, feathers were facing in opposite directions to one another. But I didn't think about that until just now. <laughs> so maybe on another project. You live and learn, right? There we go. Okay, so. Ding, ding, ding.
So here's the bit of making cards that takes the longest, right? You all know this. It's arranging everything on your card. There, so that's, that's a bit better. Yeah, okay. So then, looking, still looking a bit bare, so I'm going to take my black stamp and write marker. Now normally I would use my early espresso, but that is still in the UK, so this is the next best thing. So I'm just going to spritz this a little bit. I'm going to spritz the, there we go. Here we are, and then I think I'm going to distress my feathers. That's it. There we go. And now I've decided I think I want to do it differently again. See, this is what happens when I don't prepare you guys. Okay, I think that I think I prefer that. And then I'm just gonna grab a sponge and I'm just going to distress the edges of these a little bit. So I'm just going to use my early espresso. I'm just going to go around the edge like so. Nothing major, just to emphasize the edge and then the same here. I'm trying to resist the temptation to put Wink of Stella on this because it's quite a masculine card, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's difficult. Definitely feel the urge. Okay, so then we just put some snail on the back. This is just to hold my ribbon in place. Okay, put a good bit on there because I want to be able to play around with the placement. Okay, and then I just... Trim that off, okay, and then I think I'm going to go with that. Jury's out though, so if you've got any suggestions, do chip in. I mean, to be honest, I like that. <laughs> but then this won't go. <laughs> so maybe, mm, hang on a minute, might change this around. Hold on a second, hold on, because I like that better than I like anything else. So let's see if we use this and if I get, I want a small sentiment, one second. Let's see. Yes, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Music from the Heart, which is another stamp set that's retiring. And I'm going to stamp again. Okay, I'm just going to stamp that in um, into Sahara Sand so that will fit on there. Yes, I'm going to stamp that in the Early Espresso ink. Thank you. 
we go. I'm just going to die cut that quickly. Yes, I think that's just the wrong shape because it needs to, you're right, Susan, because I think it needs to be a different shape to the feathers. That's where I'm going wrong. So I've chosen this one, which I hope will fit into the die. So just bear with me one second. there or there yes that's much better see i knew it had to be three I knew it had to be three feathers i just hadn't got them on the right way so we'll save that for another project and then we're just going to pop our dimensionals on the back here top and bottom Do you ever, when you're watching um, craft videos, try and predict what the person's going to do on their card? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I like doing that. Sometimes I'm right. There we go. Here we are. Okay. So, yes, that's much, much better. Okay, so, do I want it there? Or do I want it there? I think I want it down there. Okay, so I'm going to use my, my big dimensionals. Yes. So because the texture on this is so deep, I want to make sure that the, everything is stuck nicely onto it. there brilliant and i can tell you ladies the urge is so strong yes the label did look like a coffin amy i know i know exactly what you mean it just wasn't working for me it needs a bigger sentiment in it to fill it out but hey we well, you know when it gets when it gets to halloween and there you go done <laughs> see you were all thinking it nobody said it <laughs> there we go Okay. okay. <laughs> Can't unsee it, Susan. I know. Is it ruined for all of us now? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make something with it that makes you not see coffin anymore. <laughs> when I've had a bit more time to play. There we go. See, this is what happens when I create on the fly and I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to make. Doesn't always, don't always see all that stuff in advance. So there we go. So that's our final card. So whilst I tidy up, do you want me to do a quick run through of the goodies that I've got that are coming? Or would you prefer me to do a separate video? So leave me your comment. If you want me to do it, I'm happy. What time is it? Yeah, I'm happy to carry on um, and go through it with you. Or if you prefer me to do it another time, let me know. So let's just clear all this up a little bit. There we go. And let's bring our cards back in. So that was that one, that one, that one. And then we made the blue one, but I've got all the others. So what I said is, um, if you share the video, um, I'll put whoever, the name of whoever shares the video into a hat, and next week I'll draw someone to, I'll send them these cards. So you've got some nice cool cards. So there we go. So let's see if we've got any. The retiring set, um, Susan, was called Abstract Impressions. It is here somewhere on my desk. Here it is. 
that one. That one. In fact, I didn't, I didn't check actually. I didn't check before I came on today if that's still available. Now please, Lynn. Okay, I can do now. I can do now. So let's just clear a bit of space. Oh. I nearly put an inky sentiment down on my lovely card. Now, okay, excellent. Right. Let's make room so I can show you this stuff. Okie dokie. Right, so let's pop these away. Okay, so I've already shown you the um, textured impressions embossing folder. Okay, and you've seen the Tasteful Touches stamp set and the dies. Okay, so they're a bundle that go together. Let's see what else we've got. So let's bring over my box. So you've seen me use the punches. Oh, thank you, like them all. Yes, Lynn, I like the feathers too. I love feathers on cards. They're cool. They're great. And again, for masculine cards, they're just something else that you can put on there. They're really lovely. Um, so then there was this lovely U stamp set. So again, I love the fonts on these. Um, and all of these will fit into one of the... Um, punch the labels here. So again, you can make them as long or as short as you like. But again, I like the fact that they've got these little extra images in there. So that's kind of cool to make some cool cards with that. Then we have this stamp set, which I love. I think this is gorgeous. And again, I love that you've got the big swirly sentiment and then the little ones that go with it. Um, and again, some nice flowers. But this comes with this punch, which cuts out, let me see if I've got some little bits and pieces here. So these are just so cute. It cuts out these. So you can use it as a border or you can, basically the idea is, is that when you stamp this bit, you can add your flowers in in all different colours. But they're just such tiny, cute, beautiful flowers. You could use them on anything really. I think they're just very, very sweet. How lovely is that? So that's another one. Let's just take these off. All right, there we go. Any questions on any of this? I'm, I'm running through it relatively quickly, but any questions, just shout. I'm watching the comments so I can go back if necessary. Um, the next one, this was top of my list. This is the Blossoms in Bloom stamp set. And there's two reasons for that. I love the flowers. It's a huge, lovely, big image. Okay. Um, and I love that sort of abstract thing. So I had a bit of a play with it yesterday. So I've stamped the big flowers here in the um, Daffodil Delight. And then I've used the small flowers to, and the dots to just add the centers to them. But again, you can see that's almost an entire card front so it's very very distinctive but then these sentiments are really really lovely just nice simple font nice well nice range of sentiments as well especially uh get well soon and then the dies okay are something quite special so you've got the common two parts so if anyone's got the um beauty abounds dies it's a bit like that so let me show you what i mean so so this die here cuts out this image here. Okay, so you can see it's got solid areas to it. But then this die here cuts out a much more delicate image. Okay, so you can lay the images on top of one another, like so. And if I put, I've got a dark, looks good on a dark background. So if you put it on there, you can really see it pop. Isn't that cool? absolutely gorgeous so again that's that's your card done you just got to put a sentiment across the middle and bob boom you're done or what you can do is you can take this and you can lay it over the stamped image so if i line that up again you can see which is really lovely okay and it works for this one too you can't see it as well with this one because this is the solid one 
Um, see if I get it the right way around. But if I had them in contrasting colours, it would show through really nicely. Ah, so there you go. So yeah, it's the two dies. And then they've also got um, the little small flowers. Again, the detail and the more solid. So they're really quite cool. Um, really, really lovely set. And again, just this image on its own. Forget the dies. Just the stamp set on its own is going to make super easy cards. So that's one. that was number one on my list of things to pre-order. Um, what's next? Next is, ah oh yes. Next is this, which is the beautiful world. This is great. Um, super for masculine cards. Again, I love these dies. Oh, the, the, the globes, another feather with a quill and an ink. And then you've got the dies that go with it. So you can see you've got the circle that cuts out the globes and then you've also got these details. So you've got, you know, um, this is the Americas and this is Europe. And then you've got like a stand put onto it and then this cuts out this bit. Um, these two are really kind of cool. Again, I had to play with these. So this image just cuts a border into your card. So again, I think that's cool. You could have some fun with like some threading some ribbon through that or you know, paper behind it. And then this one just embosses. So you can see on there, just creates a nice bit of texture on your cardstock. So again, I think this is one that's kind of lends itself to that sort of antique grungy, masculine-y sort of, this sort of look of card. Um, so this, um, this embossing folder is kind of in the same place, same part of the same suite in the catalog as these two, um, that's really gorgeous. And there's some lovely paper that goes with that. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, what else? So this next one, again, this was number two on my list. So this is the Forever Fern. I love these images, they're gorgeous. And to be honest, I always love leaves. I like flowers, but I love leaves. They're great fillers and they're great for creating reeds and stuff. And again, I do like the sentiments on here. So if I show you this, these are our distinctive um, stamps. So there's one where I've just printed it out and it's just beautiful. Really, really gorgeous image. But wait till you see the dies. Again, this is a really big set of dies. So you've got the bits that cut out the actual stamped images and then you've got lots of other bits and pieces. So for example, you've got this one, which is this one here, which I think would make a great wreath. Or like that if you've got a congratulations or a laurel of some sort. You've got this one which is really fun. And I was thinking that would make quite a nice little necklace. And if I can find it, where's my other card? Here. So let's imagine. <laughs> let's imagine that this is a regular dress. If you were to put something like that around it. To make it look like a trim or a set of pearls or something. It's really quite sweet. Um, or again, you could snip these apart and they'd make really nice berries. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to have leaves and things as just extra texture on your cards. So I think this is one of those sets that will just kind of, I'll find it, it'll just keep on coming out um, for elements on various cards. Next up is, I think this is probably one of the most popular items at the moment. So this is the jar of flowers. So again, this is a really lovely, cute little set. Um, good sized images in here, you can see. So again, if I show you it that way. So this is obviously designed to stamp above the jar. Um, but some of these images here, you could, you could use them not in the jar. This one kind of has to be because it's got a very hard border. Um, but these ones are, um, you could just make a, re uh, a repeating pattern with these very easily. And these are really easy images to colour. Um, and then the punch punches out the jar. So this is going to be great for uh, shaker cards, window cards, all that sort of stuff. And there are um, little um, like like domes cut in the catalogue, I didn't get any, that are that shape so you can make great shaker cards. So this is cool. I think that might be an online class for sure. Then I have two stamp sets. So these are, this stamp set comes with a die, but I didn't like the die. It was like a mosaic tile thing, not really my style, but I love the sentiments in this. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Um, and these three as well, I see these, you heat emboss these in white on a dark background, or you could color them in. These are really gorgeous. 
um, and then this one, the grandkid. So this is one of those ones where don't be fooled by the name because there's only two items here which are specific to grandchildren. The rest could be for any kind of occasion. So I love that. No amount of money could ever show how much I love you, but here's some anyway. Excellent. And just some really cool fonts and things. So this is a great one. I really, really like this one. That's just a standalone set. Then what have we got? Oh, there's another embossing folder. So this is the Tasteful Textile embossing folder. So this creates like a textile, I guess, pattern. So again, that's really nice. Again, a bit more than the subtle embossing folder, but not quite as chunky as the other one. So again, really, really lovely. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, we've got some cool ribbons. So we've got, this is a single ribbon pack. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't shown you our new ink colours. So this, these three come in a pack. And the blue and the green are two of our new ink colours. So this is Just Jade, I think it's called. And this is uh, Misty Moonlight, I think. Um, and then this white ribbon is just like a linen, sheer linen ribbon. Really, really nice. But I love gingham. This is just such pretty ribbon. I'm going to have fun with that. But let's show, let me show you the new ink colours. So let's here. So we have... So this is the Just Jade. Now I'm not sure how good that looks in the light, but this one is kind of like a dark mint macaron. So this is mint macaron and that's Just Jade. So you can see those colors really coordinate beautifully together. So that's the green. And then the new blue we have is the Misty Moonlight. So again, it's kind of a, it's kind of a a denim -y kind of colour. I really like it. It's kind of a dusty. And then here it is next to the Knight of Navy. So you can see again, it's just tones really, really well with this. And I think this is going to go great with greys and things like that as well. Okay. Um, the next one is Magenta Madness, which is a really bright pink, it's like an acid pink almost. So the nearest colour we have at the moment, this is a uh, Melon Mambo, which is a beautiful, but you can see this is a kind of a reddy pink, and this is more of a purpley pink. So this is really nice. Um, I think this, as I said, I think this will go well. So if we take our, so I've got, this is Purple Posy, which is one of our current in colours. And you can see that this, it's definitely got purple undertones to it rather than red undertones to it like the melon mambo. So nice. And then we've got, um, what's that one? And then we've got a new yellow called Bumblebee. So this is kind of a mustardy yellow color. So again, we have crushed curry, um, which is very, very similar. Um, I'll be honest. I'm not sure if you'll even be able to see that on the camera. The um, Yes Susan, the blues are fantastic for mail cards, absolutely. And even that green is quite nice for a mail card. Um, so the, the crushed curry is ever so slightly darker um, than the bumblebee, but there's very little in it. It's hard to tell them apart. And then the final colour is cinnamon cider, which is a brown. It's kind of a tan kind of colour, which is really nice. And I think... That in, if we were to do this embossing folder in this colour, it'd look gorgeous. So the nearest thing to it is kind of, this is our Cajun craze. So you can see it's kind of a terracotta colour, whereas this is our soft suede, which was more of a warm brown. So this is kind of a nice in-between, again, nice, um, nice like I said, bridging colour. Um, so if you're trying to layer, so there isn't really, if you're trying to do a tone on tone, with terracotta. There's nothing between it and orange. So this is a nice bridge for it, which is really, really nice. So there are new ink colours, which as I say, I think I think the jade and the misty moonlight are my favourites. I really, really like them. And then I'm just going to quickly run through some of the papers with you. So this is the Forever Ferns paper. So that goes with 
this stamp set and die set. Okay, so the colours in here, it's all green. So garden green, just jade, pear pizzazz, pretty peacock, shaded spruce, soft sea foam. So lots of different colour greens. Um, so I think for some of these, I mean, I, I love this pattern. I love, love, love this pattern. If I, if I could have a whole pack of just this, I'd be happy. Okay. Um, but I think some of these are kind of, I'd find, that reminds me kind of like a lizard skin pattern. And then you've got the ferns. So some of them are quite busy and you probably wouldn't want huge amounts on your card. You only need a little bit. There you go. And then you've got that one. So you can see one side is quite busy and one side is relatively plain. That's what we normally do with our cards. So I do like these with the, with the white background. I think they're nice. There we go. Okay. So that's the Forever Ferns. Then we have... Ah, this is in good taste designer series paper. So this is a big pack. So there's like, I think there's 20 sheets in here rather than, it's 24 sheets rather than the normal 12. So it's just a selection of sort of wood, tile, textile, various textures, but all in these kinds of sort of woody. This one, this one's really nice. Um, it looks like, um, like when you put acrylic paint on a canvas. So the background here is Rococo Rose, which is the color we used earlier really nice um, again more wood so lots of wood and then you've got some like mosaic tile patterns I love this grey I think this is gorgeous more tiles more wood that looks like a rug or a carpet this looks like I think I was talking to was it Sue last night you said it looks like a was it a bedspread an old granny's old bedspread but again this is like a nice petal pink and rococo rose you got some more of that sort of pasty Sort of um, canvasy texture, same with some blue, more tiles, again more of that linen, I like this kind of twill pattern, yeah. and then more. So again, I think this is one of those ones that, again, for male cards, there's quite a lot of stuff that's kind of good for sort of male cards, which is great. Um, and then we have, this is my favourite. So this is the, oops, got some stuff to it here. This is the World of Good paper, and that goes with the, with this stamp set and the coordinating die. So it's all kind of world maps. So you've got this lovely grid, okay? Some compasses. This is the Misty Moonlight again. That's just such a lovely blue. Uh, we've got some like old antique maps. That's that um, cinnamon, so you can see how it looks like saddle leather. Um, and then some of them have got gold detail on them, which is cool. And then this one, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a grid, very faint grid pattern on it. Got some like old, looks like old parchment. This is a great page. This is more for a scrapbook, I think, than a um, whoop. Now my place looks mad because everything is just everywhere. <laughs> everything is just falling over. So this, I don't know if you can see it, but very subtly it's got all of the signs of the zodiac on the back here. So I think this would be a fantastic um, scrapbook card, scrapbook page. Um, and then where have I put the rest of it? <laughs> here we go. Let's just keep going. And then you've got your... Now, for this one, I would probably cut these circles out and make them elements on my card. But look at that. The gold, that's lovely. And then you've got a nice camouflage, but this is fantastic, that grid. Again, great for mail cards. Super, super, super. And then I have one more paper pack to show you, and then that's it. That will be all of it. So... This is, yeah. so this is the flowers for every season paper. And I'll be honest with you, the flowery side of it is not really my bag, okay? 
Um, I actually really like the back side of these. So this is a six by six, so I'll show you the reverse sides. And you can judge for yourself. So I think the flowers are a bit busy for my liking, but these backgrounds are really sweet. The only exception is this one, where I prefer that side to that side. And here, see, I wouldn't normally put pink and red together. But I like the back. This one's quite pretty. And I like that side too. Uh, this one, prefer the back. This one's not bad. But again, the back's nice too. So a lot of these are in colours. This is my favourite. Again, I love a nice stripe. That's a beautiful candy stripe. That is gorgeous, that piece. I love this one. I just love the colours in this. I think they work really well. That's that gorgeous blue again. It's fabulous. And then that's the Just Jade. That's the new green. And again, look at this with just the blue. Just different shades of it. Lovely. There you go. And then you've got this one, which is like Christmas. You've got your poinsettia in here. But then on the back, You've got your nice brown stripes, so something quite masculine there. This one I like too. I think I think I think it's just the blue I like, if I'm honest. <laughs> Anything that's got the blue in it, I seem to like, and then that's the back of it. So there's lots of other designer series papers in the catalogue available, um, but these are just the three that we're allowed to order ahead of time because we're demonstrators. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed that really quick. I know I went through it at lightning pace. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to know what your favourite is or what thing you said, oh yeah, I'd quite like to see that. So you, when you get your catalogue, you'll be marking that page. Um, and uh, so let me just, my ribbon's just unravelled itself all over my desk. So yeah, I'm just going to try and roll this up a little bit. Try and get all this back in the box before I go to bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See, I went. I spent all that time this evening being neat and tidy, and then I just blew it at the end. Typical. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed the projects. Um, I hope you enjoyed the new stamp sets. Let's see, Kathy. What's Kathy says? The world. Yes, that is lovely. That is lovely. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Although I'm not sure how much travelling is going to be going on in the next few months. Um, with everything else that's happening in the world, but we'll see. I guess when people start travelling again, it really will be a big deal, won't it? Um, let's have a look, so let's make some space. So like I said, don't forget, um, pop it in your diaries for the launch event next, or Saturday week, so Saturday the 6th. Um, and if you haven't already done so, there's still time to sign up for the um, Honeybee class next week. Um, and if you miss the dress to impress class, but you'd like to have it anyway, you can still get the video tutorial and the PDF. Um, just I'll put I'll put I'll post the links um, in when I'm finished. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, the new blue, yeah, Lynn. I love the new blue. I think I'm going to be playing with that a lot. And actually, looking at it, the uh, the blue that we came out with by mixing the purple <laughs> and the Pacific Point and the seaside spray. That's kind of like the new blue, isn't it? It's not far off. So yeah, I think it's going to be cool. Um, and like I said, a lot of it is kind of quite male, sort of. It's not too girly girly. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, tasteful touches, forever fur and abstract impressions. Yeah, no problem, Susan. I'll have a quick check and I'll send you a message to see if abstract impressions is still available. Um, I know it was running low a little while ago. So we can have a look. So Tasteful Touches, Forever Fern. Yep, yep. No, I like those two. They're really cool. So if there's any of these that you think you'd like an online class for, then let me know because what I'll do is, like I do with any of them, if it's to do with a bundle, is that you'll get the class for free when you buy the bundle. So that, that'll that help you out in terms of you get the, stamp, get the stamp set and then you've got some ideas on how to use it. So let's see. Anybody else got any more comments before I finish up. No, I think that's it. But I'll keep checking this evening in case you've got any questions or any more comments. So if you haven't already done so, please do share this video and I will, um, like I said, I'll put you, I'll, whoever wins the draw next week, I will, um, 
I'll send you these this this nice set of cards here. Um, so thank you again, everybody. It's been really fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you all again next week. Bye.